road to Fort Lauderdale Beach. Um, I have driven past Fort Lauderdale several times, never bothered to stop by. So we're like, you know what? Let's go to Fort Lauderdale Beach and see what it's all about. It's about a four hour drive from Tampa. So Chris and I were gonna split the drive two hours each. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um, and Florida is super easy to drive. Uh, compared to California, it's a straight shot. A lot of rest stops. And, but the only thing is, there's no mountains, so the landscape isn't as interesting as California, but I love it. What's up? Come on in to our amazing suite. We got an entire suite with a huge, huge balcony. Ta-da! Look at this view of Fort Lauderdale. It's so pretty. And it doesn't stop there, it like keeps going. It's like, it wraps all the way around. Fort Lauderdale. I like the other side better, but it's nice that we get the option of this side too if you wanted to check out cars. <laughs> or traffic, we wanna see how traffic's doing. But now this is a nice side. I really like the view over here. So I can see Chris and I having breakfast here tomorrow morning, just chilling. have a brunch so I'm really excited for that and we're gonna go check it out now talking about it, it just sounded really good. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna have that. So that's mine. I got the brioche French toast with um, cornflake crust, or it's crusted with cornflakes. And I got some fresh berries and also got like two buckets of syrup that he gave us. He must think that we love syrup because that's a lot of syrup. And I usually don't like blackberries. I must have really crappy blackberries before because this blackberry is really good. Like, I'm eating the whole one. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I think like the blackberries I had before were like too sour or something. This is like just right. Like I can eat this all the time. And they're healthy. So just got done eating at YOLO and we love the food and we loved our waiter Joey. He was awesome. Thanks Joey for being so awesome. But <laughs> everybody else in that restaurant was rude, <laughs> unenthusiastic, had no emotion or were hungover. And especially the manager, I don't know what her name was, but she was in this blue shirt and she was just, just so unfriendly and unwelcoming. Like, thumbs down to her, thumbs up for Joey. Now, for 
Frank Stranahan was born in Ohio, and he worked in the steel mill.